play Ma, um, who is this wonderful, quite complex woman. I mean, I think she's very much the master of her own domain. And in this quite tight-knit community, she's a force to be reckoned with and she can pretty much handle anything. But I do think that she has limitations in certain ways. And I think that that's a product of her upbringing. Um, I think she struggles to sort of see past this little patch that she knows so well. Um, and I think that this idea that the world is changing around her installs her with a lot of fear. Um, because, you know, I think that she she's great at what she knows, but anything beyond that, it kind of terrifies her a little bit. Well, when I read the script, she felt very familiar to me. I mean, she feels there is a certain ferocity to Irish women and Irish mammies in particular, and um, that kind of tough love, but that kind of like quick to laugh, quick to anger. Um, all of those things felt very familiar. I, I read it and I just fell in love with it. Um, and then I had a Zoom a Zoom call with Ken, which was a first for me. Um, and we sort of read through some scenes and had a lovely chat. And um, and then it all happened very quickly. It was sort of like, okay, it's happening and they want to see you in a week and a half, I think it was, or something. Um, and then next thing you know, we were down in, in Ascot. But um, yeah, I, it's it's just been such an amazing process and the project's been so special and I, I feel very grateful that I've been able to be a part of it. I mean, it kind of evokes so much. I mean, there's moments that are that are really funny, um, but quite frankly, it made me, it made me quite, uh, I don't know whether melancholic is the right word. I mean, I, I sobbed, you know, I, I think I left Ireland when I was 18 um, and I haven't moved back. And so that whole idea of getting to a point in your life where you look back and you look back at your childhood and you look back at the place and the people that made you um, who you are, that resonated very deeply with me. And um, I definitely got very emotional because I, I thought a lot about you know, where I grew up and and having left there. And I thought a lot about my grandparents and, you know, as a child, how our families, I think this is probably true for everyone. You know, when you're younger, you, you see all your cousins all the time and you see all your aunts and uncles. And, um, you know, I definitely come from a very, very large families, but they were very tight knit. And as time has gone on, you see them less and less. And um, yeah, it just it's it's such a beautiful script. I mean, I think that's Ken wrote such a just a beautiful beautiful script and it was just very very powerful. It was amazing. Um Ken is just wonderful to work with. He's one of the most patient and generous uh and fun people to be around. Um you know, obviously this film is very personal for him and you could just feel the love that he had you know, for everyone, for everyone he, was, he has written about, for the compassion he has for everybody that he's written about. Um, and then as an actor, you know, to have a director who understands so well what it's like to try and give moments and, you know, his compassion and his patience with an actor and he never shows his stress. I mean, to me, I do think it's it's a love letter to childhood and to that absolutely wonderful moment where you see everything through such a fantastical lens and, and the beauty in that and also the pain when that is, you know, that innocence is somewhat lost. Um, you know, to be a child at that age and to, to see the world around you change so drastically, I. I can't imagine how difficult that must have been and how that must have flipped um, his world around. But to be able to take that experience and turn it into something that has so much joy and so much love, and yet, you know, still retain some of that fear. And, um, you know, I've thought about that and I, 
First of all, I think this film is for everyone. And I, I'm so excited for my nieces and nephews and for my parents to see it. You know, I think it's going to touch people and all, all across the spectrum. But I think the thing to take away is how important love and family and community is and the danger of when we let politics divide us and separate us. Um, you know, there's, there's beauty in, in our differences and I think to retain that, that love of, of community, um, I think that that's really special and, and how absolutely awful it is when that gets torn apart. Yeah, I think, you know, I think family is so important in, as part of the Irish culture. Um, I think all of, a lot of people come from also very big families, myself included. And, you know, there's, you, you're always sort of taught growing up that family is so important and that you look out for each other. And, um, and it's, it's, yeah, I think it's something that's quite, beautiful about the way we live in Ireland. It's that you, you really, you, you know, you create these, you have your families, but you also create these extended families in your community with your neighbors and, you know, the people in your village or the people on your street. Um, it's such a, it's such an integral part of the Irish psyche, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's so funny because when I read the script, obviously, you know, it, it, it alludes to musical numbers and there's some moments in it, but you, you know, often when you read a script like that, it's like for an, a second and then they cut to something else. And so I didn't really take in how much singing and dancing there would be. And also nobody really asked me if I could do either. So I was like, oh, well, obviously it's not an issue. Um, so I was quite surprised on our first day when, uh, I knew there was going to be a little bit of singing, but um, when they sent us to choreography uh, sort of lesson, <laughs> Jamie and I were like, wait, what, we're dancing? Um, but it's been wonderful. It's been, it's something I never thought I was ever going to do. Um, and I've had to, you know, get over quite a bit of fear of it. Um, but I think as always, when you do something like that, I have just loved it and it's been so much fun. It's just been such a fun, lovely project and everybody has been so wonderful and it's been so lovely. Little Jude is amazing. And to see him do his little, you know, song and everything has been so lovely and Will is so lovely. Just everyone, everyone's so great, so.